Hello everyone. In today's video, we will be seeing this question from the year 2022. So we are given the RLC circuit. So in this question, we have to calculate the two factor of the circuit. Then we have to see the circuit is having any resonance frequency. So let's start with our question. So this is a circuit. So on pressing the key K, the capacitor gets charged by the type three. Once the capacitor gets fully charged, we will release the key. Then battery is out of the circuit now. The capacitor begins to discharge through the inductance and the resistance. So let's write using the Kirchhoff's law. So at any instant t, the voltage across the capacitor is Q over C. Which is equal to the because these are in parallel combination, so the voltage across the capacitor will be equal to the voltage across the inductance plus the resistance. This is minus L dI by dt and minus I R. So we can write I in the form of charge. So let's write this. This will become second order differential of charge, and this is. D Q over D T and R. So slightly rearranging this differential equation, so we get L D square Q D T square plus R D Q over D T plus Q over C. So let's divide the whole equation by L inductance, so this is D square Q dT square plus R over L dQ over dT plus Q LC. So this is our second order differential equation. So let's move to the next page. So this let's say gamma is equal to R over L and omega not square. Is one over L. So this is a damping factor because here the resistance is acting as a resistor force. If our resistance goes to zero, then this will be our undamped oscillation frequency. So let's rewrite this differential equation in the form of gamma. And omega naught. So let the solution for the above differential equation be Q is equal to A E alpha two. So it's an exponential function. So let's first find out this single derivative. It's a alpha e alpha t, and then the second order derivative, which is a alpha square e alpha t. So let's put the value of q d q by d t and d square q over d t square. So so this is a alpha square e alpha t. Plus gamma e alpha e alpha t plus a e alpha t omega naught square. So let's take a e alpha t common. So this is alpha square plus gamma alpha plus omega naught square. So this is our q. How the charge is. Changing with time, so this can't be zero. So that means this quadratic equation will be zero. So let's find out the roots for this quadratic equation. So this is alpha is equal to minus p minus gamma plus minus gamma square minus four. Omega naught square over two. 
So this is alpha 1 is minus gamma by 2 plus half gamma squared 4 omega naught square and the second root is minus gamma by 2 minus half gamma square 4 omega naught square. So we can write this as taking the 4 common, write this as gamma square over 4 minus omega naught square. Similarly for this root also. Our Q is A1 E alpha 1 T plus A2 E alpha 2 T. So the roots So let's take this root gamma square over 4 minus omega naught square to be omega star. So this alpha 1 is minus gamma by 2 plus omega star and this is minus gamma by 2 plus omega star. So this is the frequency of damped oscillations. Let's find out the damping value for the circuit. So we are given the resistance to be 4 ohm, inductance to be 1 milli henry, and the capacitance to be 2 milli farad. So our damping factor is R over L. So this is 4 over 1, this 1 10 to the power minus 3 milli henry. So this will be 4 into 10 to the power 3. So omega naught square is 1 over LC. The value for L is 1 milli henry and the capacitance is 2 milli. So this is 0.5 into 10 raised to power 6. So our omega naught is 0.707 into 10 raised to power 3. So and our gamma value comes out to be 4 into 10 raised to power 3. So this gamma is greater than omega naught. That means it is an over damping case. So let's find out the damped oscillation frequency which is gamma square over 4 minus omega naught square so let's put the values so this gamma square is 16 into 10 is plus 6 over 4 minus this omega naught square is 0.5 into 10 is plus 6 so this will be 4 and this is 10 is part 3 root 4 minus 0.5 so this is 3.5 into 10 raised to the power 3. So, in this question, we have to find out the quality factor. So, quality factor or Q factor. So, quality factor measures the damping in the circuit. So, this is generally find out by omega star does the frequency of oscillation and the damping frequency of the oscillation and this gamma the factor damping factor so this omega star is root 3.5 into 10 raised to power 3 and this gamma is 4 into 10 raised to power 3 so this will be equal to so this is equal to 0.46. So this is our quality factor for this circuit. And we know if the quality factor is less than half. So that is a over damped circuit. So 
the quality factor is also proving that is the overall damping field. So what is resonance? When the frequency of external source becomes equal to the frequency of natural oscillation. In that condition, maximum current flows through the circuit. flows through the circuit. So here, we require a source with a varying frequency. So in this case, we are having a DC source, which means our omega is zero. So resonance, so resonance phenomena needs alternating source. So in this case, we are having a DC source. That's why there will be no resonant frequency. So this is it for today's question. If you have any doubts related to this question, you can write me in the comment box. And if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching this video.